with the second pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins select Robert Griffin III, quarterback Baylor. Bruh, Sean Taylor is a legend of five seasons. RG3 got one year. Nah, y'all asleep. Y'all asleep on the greatest quarterback of all time. Dare I challenge RG3 could have been better than Michael Vick. He only got one year and damn near brought us to the divisional round. If his ACLs don't give out, we are winning this game. RG3 could have been one of the greatest. The more I think about it, bro, it was all there. It was all in place. But he only got one year. He had the merch. He had the commercials. He had the socks. Uh, RG3 was so tough, bro. He was the next big thing. He was the next big thing, and it all went foul. It really is a prime example of the Redskins curse. The Redskins, for some reason, has been, like, spiritually doomed for the past 25 years. He didn't even play the full year. He was missing games. And then it just damned his career. Bro, he only had like two years with the Redskins. And then we already got rid of him. We already gave up. Well, he was already like, well, it was already too late. It was already too late. But nah, our training staff had been historically garbage. Like, didn't Trent Williams complain that he had fucking cancer? He was playing with fucking, like, stage three cancer or some shit. I can't even blame him for how bitter that shit ended and feeling some type of way about it. Nah, he could have been one of the greatest. Motherfucker was King James of the NFL with some weak-ass ACLs. Whatever the fuck Lamar Jackson is, RG3 was five of him in his rookie year. We all got to witness short-lived greatness. It's not fair! It's just not fair! Really look at that shit. Not only did we make the playoffs on his rookie year, the motherfucker had like two torn ACLs. Even without getting touched, he got hurt on this play, lifts back to the huddle, but then you think, okay, he's not himself all game long. This is the Legion of Boom we're talking about. Have a game, boy. Way to work out there. Hey, what you gonna do, boy? I'm punching your... Hey, do it then, boy. And we still almost won before his legs gave out. The motherfucker was like at 40% capacity, and we still almost won in his rookie year. It just wasn't in the cars. The Redskins curse took over, and such is life. Even though your ACLs are done, do the stanky leg. You'll still be my childhood hero in my heart. Look past your champ, black, white guy, perm, and your white wife in this photo in the snow. Cause you're still my goat. <laughs> we in the field like a football team, like it's good iron gang, we banging 88. I got the boot if you try and get your roll on. Come down this rip, you better bring your skate. My new bitch gave me the keys to replace. She eat up the dick on my feet or estate. The Drake like a zombie might eat up his face. Yo, the yo keep on weeping, keep eating the J. He had weapons too. He never had no like Tom Brady, Randy Moss level. Bruh, Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed could have been so tough too. Jordan Reed would have been as good as Aaron Hernandez. Pierre Garçon, Alfred Morris. We were like humbly stacked. It wasn't nobody wild on the roster. We had Santana Moss too. I don't care what nobody says. Santana Moss held up his whole career. I don't think there was ever a down slow period for Santana Moss. Santana Moss would come in the game and do what he got to do. People don't talk about that enough. We had picked up Deshaun Jackson the next year. Do you know how lethal of a speed offense we would have been with Deshaun Jackson as our star wide receiver in a fully healthy mobile RG3? We would have pieces in place, but then it would always be something damning. Nah, it was Halum Di Nada. He ruined RG3. He ruined RG3 with that fucking hit. Bruh, I remember this game. That's why Kirk Cousins came in. Yeah, Kirk Cousins won us a game, but nah, you fucked us over. He was already playing, whooping the fucking Ravens at 60% capacity. Nah, he was just too banged up. He was too much of a wounded warrior. It was inevitable. We all knew it, but nah, we was hoping for the best. We all knew it. Uh, playing on the bad leg, it was just a matter of time before something like this happened. Let's just hope that it's not anything catastrophic. And then he goes into some... Uh, uh, little room to get checked out. You know what room that is. Uh, well, there's that's Dr. The James room. Andrews. That's the feel-good room. That was the first and quite possibly the only time I've ever seen Skip Bayless make a bold take 
and actually be right about that shit. Skip Bayless in 2012 predicted that we were going to win the next seven games with RG3 as our quarterback and go to the playoffs. And we did just that. From being three and six. That was an error. The RG3 error was better than Len Sandy. I don't care. And what do you know, guys? It's an orgy in the end zone. Couldn't get it done. He couldn't operate from the pocket. He's not the quarterback of the future. I think he proved all those jigaboos wrong. You know, and when you talk about other...